Hi everyone, today we're back renovating an abandoned house. Today guys, the abandoned house gets a new driveway. We're going to be asphalt paving, we're going to have some big equipment and several crews helping us on out here. So why don't we hop in the 06 Duramax, let's get on over to the property. Like always guys, there's a full mods that's linked down below. And if you end up enjoying today's video, help me out by hitting the like button. I'm just now leaving the coffee shop here. I actually got coffees for all the crews and I did get a dozen donuts here. But guys, we've had a lot of work done over the last week here. So really quickly, before we get started on the driveway, I do want to give you guys an update. But hopefully guys, maybe by the end of this week, early next week, we could put this house for sale and see if it sells really quickly. And maybe, just maybe we'll pick up another property like this here. But you guys, since you look, oh wow. It looks like I'm not the only one getting in here to the, uh, the property early. Looks like we have a few crews here. Wow, that is actually a really nice common service truck here. Looks like we have a F550. Wow, that thing is pretty cool. All the paving equipment has arrived there with a few dumb trucks, but here it is guys. This driveway is going to get replaced here. Now there is a little bit of asphalt, there's gravel, you guys can see there's grass growing, and this thing just needs to be completely redone here. Now we are going to be bringing in new gravel, really starting from the ground up, that way we know the driveway is done. But let's head inside the house and take a quick look at the updates. On the exterior, you guys can see the house got a brand new paint job. I painted the trim the same color white, but I decided to go with a kind of farm red is what I'm calling it here. Like the American farm red color. This house looks sweet. And on the inside, guys, we have quite a few changes, including brand new hardwood. This was super, super expensive, but it's well worth it to do quality work. You guys can see this looks awesome. And the other thing that has happened in here, you guys can see all the room, rooms have been freshly painted. We got the drywall off the wall, so that is a big, big thing. And next up, guys, uh, we are going to be getting new appliances. We also have to paint the cabinets. That is something on the list here. And other than that, I, like I mentioned, we should be getting it done. The ceiling fans are on back order there. But hey, why don't we get to work? Why don't we hop in the deer skids here, here, do a little bit of work here, trying to get it nice and smooth before we lay down some new road pack here. We want to make sure the driveway is going to last a very long time. We aren't going to have cracks or anything like that here. And I just uh, want to do it right the first time here because uh, that really helps us on out here. But you guys can see, we we'll just kind of scrape up all that grass, all that mixture of stuff. And we'll just uh, put this to the side and we'll haul this way. Guys, I think we got it nice and smooth here. I didn't want to remove too much here, just enough because if we have to remove it and put it back, we actually have to compact it. So we'll leave the skid steer off to the side. Let's get that uh, Kenworth T800 unloaded of gravel. We're going to put about 20 uh, to 25 tons worth of gravel here. So let's get that down and then we'll have to use a skid steer to spread it around. Probably go about 4 inches thick with the gravel. Guys, it's time to get to work spreading the gravel here. Now, I did decided to do a little bit of tailgating, but I went uh, a little bit slower here. That way, it's a much heavier uh, bit of gravel. And then you guys can see we're able to really smooth it out uh, with the skid steer here, which is awesome here. But having a proper driveway, guys, is really going to help increase the value of the house. That is for sure here. Nobody wants a driveway that grass has grown through, especially when they're buying a house that was fully renovated on the inside here with a brand new garage. I mean, we are putting a lot of money into this property. Hopefully, like I mentioned, guys, we are able to sell not only break even, but also have a profit in it for us. And uh, like I mentioned, if you guys want, I will start looking for another property we could uh, uh, end up flipping because this was a lot of fun.
Alright guys, I think that's all we need to do here for the gravel. Wow, this thing looks awesome. It takes a little bit of work here with the skids you're not having like a grater, but maybe we could buy a grater attachment instead of a regular bucket. Now we are almost ready to get to Paven, but first we want to run the compactor over it here. So we do need to unload this trailer here, which is no problem. Now one thing guys, this trailer has simple IC, which is super, super cool. But let's get this unloaded here and then you guys can see the uh, compactor is in the front. I have to get that unstrapped as well. Paving a driveway like this, guys, usually takes about one day here, almost probably a half day if you had a full crew and all the equipment here, which is what we do have here, which is awesome. And this is a somewhat of a bigger driveway here. It's about two cars in width, and it's probably, I would say, at least 100 feet here. But you guys can see, I mean, this property, even look around, the grass is looking really good here. Now, I do want to add some flowers and some different things as well. I think that that would really help with the curb appeal, but those will come as we get closer to putting the house up for sale. Alright guys, let's get to pave in here. We're with this moved off to the side here. So I'm going to get the paver backed in place, get the truck going, and uh, we'll get right to laying down the asphalt here. Shouldn't take too long. It's usually the prep work like this that takes the longest part. We're laying down the asphalt. Now we're gonna be making two passes here, which is no problem. I'm just trying to go nice and slow. The cruise control setting takes a little bit of time to really get used to it here, but you guys can see this is gonna look unbelievable when we are done with it here. Now I am doing a full width pass, and then the next pass is gonna be a little bit narrower, which is really gonna help us on out here, but you guys can see an asphalt paver like this. Look at that, wow. That is so cool, it's so awesome. We we have mods like this here in Farms and that really make the game capable of so many different things. And if you guys end up uh, enjoying, uh, always hit the like button as it does help me on out here. And I hope everyone is having a really, really good day so far here. Lots of cool things here in the works and including some more multiplayer coming soon. And here we have it guys, we just finished paving here. Wow, it's almost 5 p.m. here, but look at that here guys. So the last thing we have to do here is hop on the cat roller. Just make this nice and compact here, but I'm super excited on how this came out. Wow, this is pretty sweet here. It's gonna be a really nice driveway for the new owners uh, once uh, it does end up uh, selling here. But I'm gonna get to rolling this and then get everything packed up here. So hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Asphalt paving a brand new driveway for the abandoned house. Until next time, thanks for watching. Stay tuned for next one and subscribe for more.